Hello and welcome back to another segment of Community Lens. I am Erica Jones with Somerville Media Center. And we are joined in the studio today with some wonderful guests. Uh, we are joined here with Jen Atwood from East Somerville Main Streets. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Hala Matarazzo from Dino's Pasta Shop. And Kieran Nagel of Foundation Kitchen. Hello, hello, hello and welcome. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> nice to be here. I, I am so happy to have you all in here to talk about um, a wonderful event that is in its ninth year, uh, Foodie Crawl, a staple to East Somerville um, and to the larger Somerville community, uh, which is happening on Tuesday, September 17th. And um, I'm excited to have you kind of do a little pitch here about what what is Foodie Crawl? I know that it has it's a host to dozens of businesses in East Somerville and restaurants and so much specialty cuisines, international cuisines that is just a an event that people do not want to miss. So, what can you tell us about a little bit about the story for those? Yeah. Who don't know? So, Foodie Crawl again, it's in its ninth year. It's a taste of Somerville, of East Somerville in particular. So uh, people can purchase a ticket and uh, they can taste a dozen or more restaurants up and down on Lower Broadway. And uh, the story is, it, at its heart, it is a fundraiser because it is a ticketed event. Right. Um, so it is a fundraiser for East Somerville Main Streets and it helps us bring more programming and support to the community. Um, but it also it highlights the restaurant scene that we have in East Somerville that I think people outside of East Somerville and Cambridge and Boston may not be aware of. Mm -hmm. And in particular, the fact that we have the international cuisine. Um, we have so many great options. We have Ethiopian, Salvadorian, Mexican, Brazilian. Um, we have Pan-Asian restaurant. Um, and you'd be able to taste all of that just um, within an hour or so of, of at, at Foodie Crawl. You're leaving happily full. You are very, in fact, I, I don't think I've met a single person who's been able to taste every restaurant that is participating in Foodie And I will crawl. say it's hearty portions. It is. I mean, I say bite size, but, um, you know, some restaurants will go above and beyond and provide a, a tasting of, of large portions. Um, but usually at, like, say, Mount Vernon Restaurant, they'll do their lobster pasta of some kind. Mm -hmm. um, Which they're known for their twin mm -hmm. lobster special. They are. They are well known for that. And they're actually doing some really great summer deals right now as well so it's nice to be able to feature and highlight all the different specials that are also happening at the restaurants. Awesome so clearly a diverse range of, of international cuisines as you've alluded to. Um, what are you excited most about this this year's Foodie Crawl? Yeah so this year we're changing it up a little bit we have a couple of um, well first we're bringing back the beer garden um, Last year we did one at Dino's Pasta's parking lot and it was so successful we're going to do it again. Um, we're going to be featuring Aeronaut, um, but also new this year we're featuring Small Change Brewery, which is a brewery that's kind of run out of um, this couple's kind of back business. They don't have a brick and mortar yet and they're kind of looking around Somerville for options and we thought it'd be really nice to highlight this business. You don't really see a whole lot at, at public events. So we're happy to be able to bring that back. Um, and in addition, we'll be uh, bringing Foundation Kitchen um, and doing a little pop-up of some of their businesses. So we really wanted to highlight a business that's on Washington Street, mm -hmm. um, which is a little bit far for people to walk from Broadway. So we're bringing them to Broadway and just doing a little pop-up tasting as part of it as well, which um, Hala and um, Kieran can tell you more about. So Hala, would you mind talking more about what is Dino's Pasta Shop for those who have not been there? And if they haven't been there, you must get there because it's some of the most delicious handcrafted pasta. Thank what, you. What's going on there? Um, so really our business is we sell to restaurants mm -hmm. and so we deal with you know many chefs that come in and just the past couple of years we've actually opened up a little pasta shop where our neighbors and you know just people can walk right in and buy different fresh pastas, raviolis. We make six different sauces that, that go with all of our different you know tortellini, raviolis, stuffed shells, um, you know whatever Such you have. Variety. Yes, yes, we have a big variety. Um, we make over a hundred different pastas and um, we also have some gluten-free and some vegan options now too and everything is non-GMO that we make, all natural and um, 
yeah, so that's what we do. We sell to restaurants I and a small number of specialty grocers. Okay. And, um, and then, you know, the pasta shop is a newer thing. So we are open seven days a week now. Monday through Friday is uh, 8 to 5, and Saturday and Sunday we're there 9 to 3 at the pasta awesome. shop. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how long have you been in East Somerville for the business? So we've been in East Somerville about 17 or 18 years. Wow. We, we've been in business since 1947, so wow. um, a long Long time now. Uh, There's but some we, stories there, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen the community like evolve. Yes, right? definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, and we just we absolutely love being in Somerville. The the community is amazing, and you know we love being part of the neighborhood. So we That's great. plan on being there for a really long time. Yeah, and then East Central Main Street does a great job of being the bridge building connector. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And Jen at the Realm is just full. Right. Force right. Ahead. Right. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, she's awesome, and the foodie crawls so much fun. We're really looking forward to it. It's going to be like a fun night just, you know, hanging out with our neighbors and, um, you know, it's, it's a good time. Well, I'll try to remove myself from the beer garden. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or not. <laughs> um, so, Kieran, what yes. can you tell us about um, Foundation Kitchen for, for this? There's a lot, there's a lot as an incubator, right? Yeah, there's a lot there's going a, on within that one building. So there is. There's a, there's a lot to us. So, we're Foundation Kitchen. We've got two uh, locations right on Washington Street. So, right. Uh, we're right at where the bridge construction is with one facility uh, and then we're down by Sullivan Station we're uh, just on the Charlestown mm -hmm. border so um, and we incubate uh, startup food companies we've been around since 2015 uh, we've incubated uh, as you said earlier on about 80 different uh, food companies uh, we've had over 90 percent success rate of wow. businesses that come through our program. Um, uh, so it's a really interesting environment to be in. It's, it's really fantastic to watch somebody walk through the door with a dream for a food business um, and really just to have that concept in their head mm -hmm. to translate that from a zero point in time to a real growth mm -hmm. uh, and being sustainable and successful in the commercial world is, is tremendous. Incredible. It really is incredible and, and it's, it's really fascinating to watch the different food trends. It's really interesting to watch who's getting into the food space. And it's one of the most unique uh, industries that I've ever experienced in as much as that, you know, really anybody who can step into it, doesn't matter about your level of education, ethnicity, business background. You know, if you really have that passion and drive for it with the right guidance, you can make it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really in a very fortunate position to be able to offer those physical infrastructures as well as management mentorship uh, to really responsibly grow these businesses. Um, and for it to be centered in, here in Somerville, it just couldn't get better. I mean, right. there's so much innovation around this city. There's so much drive and passion. Um, and, and it fits, fits right in. So for us to be part of the foodie crawl, uh, you know, Jen, th thanks so much for inviting us. Uh, it's different. It's a different experience. You know, most people will be going to restaurants and right. going for a fixed experience. And, and from what we have, we're going to be at Conexion. On, oh, cool. Yeah. And we'll be able to offer a you know, wide variety of, of experiences, you know, from uh, vegan desserts to, you know, your most savory comfort food to artisanal um, you know, foods that are, are, are designed for people with re real food sensitivities and allergies, mm -hmm. etc. So there's a whole wide spectrum of what we have under, under, under one roof. How exciting. So it's really, you know, it's, it's kind of like daddy walking in and showing off his kids on parade. <laughs> um, so we're you're proud. Oh, oh yeah. couldn't be prouder, yeah. couldn't be prouder. And, and, and it's, it's, it's really, you know, it's, every day is, is so refreshing. It's just so nice to see these businesses get off the ground and, and, and flourish. And how many um, businesses are under your roof right now? So currently we have, there's 20 businesses currently. Um, so we have, well, 21. So we've 20 down at 3 Washington Street and at, at uh, 1 to 1 Washington Street, we've got one dedicated okay. member company there. Um, and they do phenomenal catering um, uh, to the Boston Harbor cruise boats wow. and islands and all that sort of thing. Big clientele. Big clientele. So it's really interesting. So you have, you know, we've, we've a, a wonderful vegan dessert maker, uh, Queen of Vega, for example, who's going to be uh, on display. And, <laughs> and she's just one operator, you know, oh my God. making these incredible pieces. I mean, it's mm. delicious and like just so attractive looking to, you know, catering of, you know, for a thousand people plus. It's, it's quite amazing. And, and it is impressive. <laughs> it is. It's a labor of love. It's really. a labor of love. Yeah. And, 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 the, and we have a great community 
uh, aspect to it. We've great education, so Nibble Kitchen, uh, sure. who are part of the Arts Council here, yeah. they're one of our members. So we host a lot of the, the classes oh, at cool. 3 Washington Street uh, for them. And well, that's so another great program. What a great well. program. Yeah. And, and we, we've been partnered with them from, from the get-go, you know, so it's, it's, it's really, we're really in the heartbeat of, of, of what's happening in the food scene in Somerville. Uh, so we might be like the little quiet thing that's happening in the background, <laughs> but we're, we're, we're being unveiled. We're being unveiled. It. And now everybody knows. Everybody knows. There, you're, there, you're there going you go. viral. That's it. <laughs> I, I, you know. And yeah. that's one thing that we're really, really excited about. Like, it is the ninth year we've been doing Foodie Crawl for so many years now, but like adding this component, sure. not only highlighting a business that's in an area that is often overlooked, I mm -hmm. think. Um, but also just highlighting all the amazing things that are happening in an area that maybe people aren't aware of yet. And now that they will have this chance and to be able to taste something new and different right. along yeah. with maybe the traditional cuisine that they have never experienced before. Yeah, I think it's important to, you know, it's saying, it's sort of like Somerville, the theme in general, is like trying to stay true to your roots, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and retaining those and respecting them and you know, you're nurturing them. And then you're also trying to figure out like the new growth opportunities and ways to bring in yeah. that, that innovation. There's no two ways about that. And, and a large percentage of the businesses that are, are in Foundation Kitchen are residents of, of, of Somerville. Right. And for us, we're invested to make sure that those businesses stay here. You know, so it's, it's a real push. To, to maintain those businesses, I mean that's why we've got like the the, the legendary Dinos uh, d down the way. You know the, the, these are, these are are names that carry. You know like Aeronaut. Uh, you got Taz at Chocolate. I mean you know, the, these are big big names that, that are synonymous through the, the the whole of Massachusetts and beyond. International. Uh, I saw international. Taz at Chocolate when I was in Amsterdam. Oh my and God! Like, there, oh, there you me, go. Somerville, stop following me. <laughs> 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 no, no, my mind was blown, but yeah. that goes like they were a smaller, yep. you know, operation, and clearly yeah. the success just keeps growing. Yeah. So, it really does, well, so. thank you for offering that that space for it's people a, to, a to a grow. real pleasure. So come along and. To, to both new. of you, absolutely. I mean, and, and having known that, I've I've gone to your to your establishment, and it is some of the the best pasta I've ever had. And thank I've, you, thank and you. I brought it back to my family back in upstate New York, and oh, they're awesome. still like, "Where is that pasta?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whenever I have family, I definitely always bring home that pasta for it's family so and friends because they just blows their mind, like how so good, good it is, and it's super affordable too. Yes. I think that's also what makes it so special. Yeah. Um, you're tasting something that's artisanal, yes. but it's Small like all batch. Exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. exactly. Wonderful. Well, anything else that we should um, let the folks know who are watching about you, why you should come out to this event? I mean, I think by now, if we haven't sold you, you <laughs> like come to East Somerville. It's one of the few accessible neighborhoods in Somerville these days. Um, I think it's just it's easy to get to. It's easy to spend time there and get to know what what we have to offer. Um, but if you are looking to buy a ticket, make sure you go to our website, eastsummervillemainstreets.org, and you can buy a ticket in advance. It's $20 in advance and 25 at the door, so please very reasonable. Yeah, purchase in advance. Yeah, that's, that's a great deal. It's an, it is a very good deal. And We've talked about raising the price, but we really want to keep it affordable for everyone to be able to participate. Beer and dinner for that, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you're supporting East Somerville Main Street. Exactly. Which is a wonderful nonprofit doing so much different programming diverse programming, inclusive programming throughout the year. So I think that's a good reason to get out there and, and support this effort. So, yeah. well, thank you all a pleasure. for coming thank on. Thank you so much. Yeah, Lovely chatting to you. And we hope that everyone gets out there. And um, please, please, please tell all your friends, your neighbors, come solo. You'll meet other new people. And we hope to see you there. Take care.